from the seventh floor of the doctor's office. I think that's North Hollywood. And then downtown LA, we gotta head back that way. It's beautiful. It's I think it's like 80 degrees today. Just finishing up at the doctor's office. Time to go back down. Okay, that was rather unexpected. Okay, telling you what happened. I got it. Blah blah blah. Showed him the uh, the diagnosis and the report from Huntington Hospital. Okay. All right, CAT scan, X-ray. All right, let, lay down. Let's let's take a look. Oh, oh. it looks like uh, you maybe have some fluid. Fluid. Okay, you mean kind of like the fluid that gets built up after it's pussy? It's all clear stuff. He's like, well, yeah, we'll just drain it. No. Okay. When? We'll do it right here. I was not expecting going to my doctor's office to have a surgical needle to my scrotum. He said it was quite significant. He pulled out, I could hear him. Um, oh man. I'm tired. As he's uh, draining them in the sink. Yeah, he pulled out three big vials of fluid, so that's I don't mean to gross you guys out, but that's kinda unsettling. <laughs> oh it sucks getting old. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it's kinda funny saying that. It sucks getting old. Oh anyway. That's pretty much it. I go, well, other than that, how am I? He's like, well, it looks, it looks okay. That hardness is just going to be there. That's just the way it is right there. And he's pressing down. That's where the hernia was. And down over here, I'm like, shit. He's like, oh, yeah. Ooh. So he says, uh, don't get hit again. <laughs> I wasn't intentionally looking for that. But anyway. It is just absolutely spectacular. And yesterday, to a very much bad news, we had a really bad fire down, like in our up in the Laguna, down Laguna and Miguel area. It was called the Coastal Fire. And this is where multi-million dollar homes uh, are. I mean, like mansions and type and stuff like that. It just, it scored that, it scorched that residential area. I think they had like a 24, 25 total homes lost. And the fires there, the way they are in the hills, you know, they get that updraft, updraft, and it starts to be kind of cyclonic and blows the embers, lands on houses, very much in comparison to like the Midwest with a tornado. It'll touch this house, it may touch that house, but it spared that one, or the whole neighborhood is ruined, but only one home is uh, spared. That's kind of the way the fire's out all over in this part of California, especially when they're those kind of communal housing things. I never liked that. I mean, they're nice homes. I almost bought one when I was younger, very much younger, man. But I didn't like the conformity, you know. But uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty devastating. You know, it's kind of fucked up that you're away and then you hear on the news that your neighborhood, your city or whatever is ablaze. And you see 
your home being just burned down to the to the ground via television that's that sucks i mean just any tragedy you know but that thing that fire came in really bad the winds are, are, are what did it if it wasn't i think maybe they were saying and i do agree if it wasn't for the wind we probably wouldn't have done it we've had these kind of gale force winds so any spark these winds just will carry any, any ember away all right friends that's pretty much about it my stupid little medical update i guess i'm progressing okay other than this i gotta go back come back here next month maybe for another draining <laughs> Oh, just do right here. Just shove a needle down between your legs. Ow. I know what you ladies are going to say. I know, and I agree. I agree. Try being a woman for... I No, I know. I've been there. I've been... Been to... Quite a few OBGYN visits and... Postpartum and prepartum and... During partum and everything neonatal and the whole nine yards so I know what you ladies Charlie's just a wood small little ATV no and I do agree this is, this is just not even a fraction of what you ladies go through and I understand that I wasn't expecting to get a needle in the office okay I close the door oh crying at me oh this stupid shit life hands you and you just got to play with the best knowledge of how you know how to play cards and whatever hand you have in your hands you just got to play it out hopefully at least a pair if you got a dead hand then bluff your way out you folks take care of yourselves take care of each other but always take care of yourselves first love one another trust one another be kind to each other help one another don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on. And, uh, did you know that the Presbyterian Hospital behind me, where I go, was Hollywood's first hospital here? And this empty motel property's been empty for a good two years. This could be turned into vital housing for the needy. All right, folks, I will post when I can. I have a couple of other videos that I'm working on. I love you all. Stay safe, be smart, and be kind. Bye-bye.